ladies and gentlemen, um, tonight Demetrius Andre became a three-time two-weight world champion with a hard-earned victory over a very, very tough competitor. And I'm going to pass it over to the floor to ask questions to the new WBO middleweight champion of the world. Talking about the injury. Any arm is talking about your shoulder? Um, yeah, I had a you know a little injury in my left shoulder. I mean, you know, we did we had to do right now, and we, you know, for smart and we made it work. <coughs> well, congratulations. Can you can you say when you injured your shoulder and how bad do you think it is? Um, you know, it's been hurting for <coughs> the whole week. Um, we did everything we needed to do, warm up. You know, you know when I really needed to use my left hand, I use it well, and every time I, <coughs> but, um, you know. Figure I can, after my shoulder we generate <coughs> through the left hand and I'm the left hands that put them down. So just to be clear, this was an injury that was before the fight. Yeah, this it came up this week. Yes. So you then just exacerbated it during the fight. Yes. Okay. Uh, and the other thing I want to ask you about, I mean, you put him down four times. You a little disappointed you didn't get him out of it? Nah, definitely not. You know, I mean, he, he's definitely a tough guy. He was bigger than me, taller than me, longer than me. Um, he's a number two contender. You know, at the end of the day, I did what I had to do. I won, and I believe I made a statement. It was good to see where my power was coming up to the, you know, the 60 um, pound division. And, um, you know, I did what I had to do. And it was, I think it was beautiful. When I go back and watch it, you know, I thought he was out the second time, boy. Whoof, that second one, I thought it was done. But, um, he jumps on the road. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, <laughs> sometimes you think you know, but when you look at it, you're like, damn, he's getting back up. <laughs> Shit. God. The hell he in? But, um, you know, we just um, in, enjoyed and did what I had to do and, you know, we fought smart and it was great getting back in the ring after a year layoff and it was good to get 12 good rounds in. Yeah, one more question for you, Davis. I know you were talking the right things before the fight, but now that it's over, can you just talk about how difficult it was to go from a lefty slate like Saunders to a guy like that that's a tree and that's a big puncher? You know, I know that can't be easy to make that switch with a couple of these fights. Yeah, it's definitely not. <clears throat> And it's hard to find, you know, tall guys like that, long. But, um, you know, it goes back to, like I was saying, you know, my amateur background. Um, you, know, you get on the scale, you fight a guy, there'd be six rings going on, there'd be six fights going on, and you're the fighter that wins next to you. You don't know, you just hear his name, and then boom, you're back in the ring the next day. So, that being said, that helped me out tremendously, and I have a good corner, a good team. My dad, Paul Andre, the best kept, best trainer out here. Um, you know, Adam Pina, Shariq Mendes, Snack, Victor Conti, and everybody that's you know has great experience in that corner guided me and let me know what I need to do in that fight, and also my IQ. Demetrius, congratulations on the win. Um, what would you like to do next? Would you like to do a voluntary defense or go for a unification battle? You know, we're going to sit back and see how the timeline is running, you know, people are fighting, people need to rest. Um, it will, I think it will be good to, you know, get back in the ring and get another good 12 rounds because, like I said, I have been inactive for a year. I, I stepped up to fight Billy Joe. He wasn't here. So, um, you know, we're going to sit back and see what the, what's the right move to make because that's what it's all about nowadays, you know, is making the right move. And, um, I'm here because I made the right move. And so I'm going to stick to the game plan and, you know, see how it goes. Demetrius, uh, with Canelo Alvarez signing to the zone for five years, how excited are you of the possibility of possibly facing him in the future? Oh, great, great. You know, um, definitely the zone is definitely the way to get in the zone. You know what I'm saying? And uh, uh, it's just, it's just um, the middleweight division is here, and I'm part of it, and I'm going to be able to make pop, make history here. So. Is Canelo is the face of boxing, and if I want to be that, you know, I have to get in the ring with him. And him being here has given me the opportunity to make that happen. And I think as I keep winning and people see, you know, the skills and talents that I do have and what I possess and I'm, uh, I stay more active, people won't want to see that fight. And Boo -Boo, just how does this moment feel after all the difficulties you went through in your career? To, to finally get into middleweight, be on a big fight, and, and win the world title, and have the, everything ironed out, the promoter situation. How does this feel right now? It's good. You know, I got um, fresh air in the tires. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, um, I'm, you know, I'm ready and motivated all over. 
and it's time to get the gears in, in motion. And like I said, this, it was good for me to get 12 rounds, you know. If I didn't stop him, I didn't stop him. I, I seen that he was tough. Um, you know, it was good to get the 12 rounds just to see where I'm at and what we need to work on. But I'm definitely happy to be in this position and <clears throat> be here with, you know, Eddie Hines because he wants to make the best fights happen. And I want to be part of that. And, you know, uh, he's obviously not a own fighter. Jamal Charlo, but you guys have yeah. a little history. Is that a fight where if the stars would align? You would you would like to, to run that fight, you and Jamal Charlo? I mean, eventually, everybody's going to have to fight each other. You know, there's <clears throat> the elite fighters are starting a show, and everybody wants to see who elite fighters. There isn't any. There isn't any. Uh, no more, you know, out with the old and with the new. There's no, no more Miguel Cotos. There's no Sergio. I mean, there's no Sugar Mosley's. There's none of that no more. You know, it's either you go up a weight. Or you fight the guys that's, you know, the elite guys, or you, you know, try to see who's coming up. But there isn't no more making a name of somebody that's on on the end of their career. It's time to make a name with somebody that's in the ring. So yeah, it's gonna happen. Demetrius, despite your injury, how fast do you think you can get back to the ring? You know, I can't. You know, I can't put a time on my body. So, you know, so unfortunately, I ain't got the power of youth. I wish I did. Eddie looks like he has it though. I don't know. This man right here. Yeah. Shit. I'm sorry. I don't know if I can hang with him too much. <laughs> maybe maybe I can walk with him because that's a, you, you know, attraction. How does it feel that these other fighters can't run from you anymore? Um, it feels good that um, <clears throat> you know, with the zone, Eddie and what Eddie wants to do in the sport of boxing in the US and make great fights and I also want to get in there. There's no there's no cap anymore, so whatever needs to be done and whatever needs to happen, I think it can happen here at the zone. And with Eddie in front line making things happen and putting pressure on people. He got to do his job and I have to do my job. I did my job today and that was a win. You get the W and it's me again. Hey. <laughs> Demetrius, I'm just curious, man, when you was training in Snack, uh, you went with Danny Jacobs. Did you guys do any sparring together or did you just kind of stay away from doing all of that? Yeah, we definitely um, got some rounds in. Okay. You know, iron shopping iron, and it was good for me. It was good for him because, you know, I, we, he he kind of gave me that right hand look that I needed during the time, and he switched up a little bit southpaw, so that actually helped me for this as well. Not knowing I was fighting a right handed. Oh, okay. I mean, you guys ever kind of talk about you guys might clash? You know, he's my brother. And if Eddie here says the numbers are right, <laughs> we definitely go get in there and make it work. You know what I'm saying? You know, so hey, man. We'll be cheering for him next Saturday. Yes, definitely. I'll I definitely be there. And I want to see him do his thing. Uh, I believe me and him in the ring will be a big fight for the middleweight division. And um, yeah, uh, if he agrees, I agree. It takes two to tangle, you know? Is Canelo actually an easier stylistic fight for you than Jacobs? Because Jacobs, like yourself, can move his six foot like yourself. Or like, what do you think Jacobs would be a, a tougher fight than Canelo, or is Canelo the tougher? Fight? I mean, they're both elite guys. Both of them gonna be tough. They're, they're, they're not where they are for no reason. So you know, once we get in there and the opportunity comes, when we're in there, we're just gonna see and you're gonna see what happens. Tune in. That's it. That's the best I can tell people. Hey, Demetrius, how did it feel to fight in your, in your backyard? It felt good, man. It felt really good, you know. Whew. When you say New England, you say Demetrius Andre now. <laughs> Not only the Patriots, Boston, Bruins, Red Sox. I made history in that in this venue today, and man, it was great, man. It was it was great having having everybody come out supporting me and seeing like yo, I'm, I'm still fresh squeeze orange juice for people in the sport of boxing man like you know like you you can see that the boy got skills and he knows what he's doing in there and if the opportunity comes i'm gonna you know go in there and try to shut it down and if not i'm just stay handsome <laughs> eddie um there's kind of a question for you because and i, don't, I know you may not know this but uh, Murata lost tonight. Of course I know that. Uh, well, no, I know you know that, right? <laughs> so that kind of implies that the Triple G Murata fight is, is a wash. So yeah. does that kind of attract Triple G to the zone now? I think that, you know, I don't, I don't want to sound arrogant because I think I might have given that um, effect off at the, the press conference, but I said that if you want to fight Canelo or you want to fight the middleweight world champions, you have to be with the zone. That's the truth. You know, if you want to fight Canelo, you have to be on the zone. 
whether that's fighting Canelo on the zone or fighting on the zone previously. We've got an 11, year, 11 fight deal with Canelo. So there is no way he will not fight Demetrius Andre in those 11 fights. He has to, because he's going to run out of guys, but he has to keep winning as well. As far as Golovkin's concerned, I, I, I can't tell you what he, you know, decision he's going to make. But I know Demetrius would love a fight with Golovkin as well. And that would be a, an opportunity for Golovkin to win a world title. So, you know, I think we'll have a defence early this <coughs> year. You're supposed to say, yeah. No. <laughs> he, he, he ain't going to have the opportunity to win the world title because I'm going to whoop his ass. Opportunity <laughs> to try and win a world title. Right, that sounds better. Yeah. Okay. So, Golovkin against Andre is, is, a, is a great fight. He's a promoter, guys. He's a promoter. <laughs> Andre, are you, uh, you know how Crawford is the professional's franchise? Uh, of, 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 uh, of Nebraska, are you like the professional franchise of Rhode Island? New England. Yeah, that's what pretty much I was saying, New England, you know. Yeah, there's, there's other sports teams out here, and if I can make, you know, Boston and, and Rhode Island, of course, because it's TD, I mean, it's TD Bank, and then you got Dunkin' Donuts Center. Those are my two, um, you know, playing fields. You know, it'll be great because um, I think we can bring a lot of people to the city because Boston's real. Great city to be in, in um, Rhode Island, of course. Mm -hmm.